Harvested using humane methods is the phrasing we've been hearing since the RCMP muskrat fur hat issue rose again in the media last week. I think it's time that we break down exactly what that sentence implies and what's really going on when we're talking about fur. Harvested simply means to take or collect. We're used to hearing it when we talk about crops. We harvest corn, for example. It's a clean, technical word that doesn't create a stain on our consciousness, like maybe a more accurate word such as kill would. Humane is typically what we say when we're giving sympathy or consideration to animals, including other people. When it comes to traps, of course, humane means something else entirely. The Agreement on International Humane Trapping Standards was created in the 90s when the European Union threatened to halt the importation of all fur products obtained through the use of leg hole traps. This trade agreement does not guarantee that traps are humane. All it did was set out the rules for testing traps to see if they're more humane, or more accurately, less cruel than their predecessors. It recommended changes like adding spacing or rubber lining between the jaws of leg hole traps, that certain traps should render an animal unconscious and dead within five minutes, and so on. Of course, these rules, even in laboratory testing, had a safety net of 20% failure rates. That means if the trap caused excessive injuries, led to extreme suffering, or caused a slow, painful death, one out of every five times, it was still considered humane. Not only that, but many traps used in Canada, such as common restraining or killing snares, do not fall under the agreements. Add on the fact that it's virtually impossible to verify that these traps are regularly working as designed, let alone enforcing proper placements or reporting of non-target catches, and the concept of humane trapping quickly falls away. If the RCMP and anyone else want a solution that is truly humane, it's pretty easy. Just don't wear fur. You can learn more about the fur industry, both trapping and fur farms, at makefurhistory.com or thefurbears.com.